Hi guys, welcome back to another video, a very highly requested Q&A. It's been a long time coming, I feel like we need to release all the secrets and tell everybody the story. I think that we should just kind of start off with that, like the story of how we met, why we met, and yeah, do you want to wanna start with how we met? Why did I get that story? <laughs> well, I was at work one day and I got a DM from her friend Victoria asking me if I was still living in Buffalo, which the answer was no, but I told her that I would be willing to at least give it a shot and talk to you, see how things go. And then we started texting from there. She didn't even give me your name, so I had to text you and say I didn't know what your name was, yeah. but I had your number. Mm -hmm. And then we started talking from there. and. We will save the rest for the rest of the video. Yeah, so basically I was also at work um, and Victoria was texting me and she was like, hey, I have this friend, like, you should talk to him. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to be the first person to not send the first text. So then she texted him and then we started talking from there. And that is how we met. So mutual friend, um, my best friend, and they had met through a photography like conference. Me and Victoria met their nursing school and yeah. Come on Jumba, do you want to join? So I have a few different jobs. Um, first and foremost I work at Deathfish Coffee and I manage their website so I handle all their product launches. I recently worked on a website redesign. Um, so a little bit of just like the day-to-day -day of e-commerce strategy things like that. Um, so I do that. I do some freelance e-commerce as well. And then I do a bit of photography as well, uh, mostly weddings and portraits, but a little bit of everything. So I stay pretty busy. We're very, very busy people. He's from Saratoga, and I'm in Buffalo, if you don't know. So we're in the same state, luckily, but we do do long distance. Um, we are about five hours apart. It's definitely a haul back and forth, but we make it work. In you used to live here, so that's kind of helpful that you, you know, know your way around and whatnot. Yes, some of us drive faster than others, so <laughs> sometimes it takes five hours, sometimes it takes four, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's interesting, because I work a nine-to-five, so well, basically when she's up and getting ready for work, I'm just getting out of work, and I've had a long day, and... But I usually call her on the way home, have a nice talk if she's going to work. If she's not going to work, we'll usually FaceTime. Um, but after she's been at work a few hours, then it's time for me to go to bed. And it's usually around the same time that she drinks a Celsius and wants to have important life conversations. And I have to tell her that I'm not ready for those conversations because I need to go to bed. But other than that, it's good. Um, we still get kind of like our own little alone time here and there when each other's working and things like that. But other than that, no major complaints. I think it'll be different once we live together, but we will see. I think it's mostly just the sleep schedule that's really, like, crazy because he was, like, a go-to-bed early, kind of wake up early, obviously, for work, and I've always been more of a night owl, and then with night shift, I normally, you know, sleep during the whole day, basically, so while he's up, I'm sleeping all day, and then I'm waking up, he's coming home, so... A little crazy and then on our days off I'm trying to kind of jump into a day schedule while still staying up which kind of forces him to stay up and then he gets mad at me because he's tired wants to go to bed but I want to stay up so it's okay we make it work so this was kind of a very unexpected meeting for us um, I'm just gonna be completely honest I was not looking for any relationship when we met I had just gotten out of a serious relationship like three months prior. So we first started talking in February. Was that one or was it January? And February. Okay, so we first started talking in February and it was kind of, we were talking and then it, we stopped talking for a little bit then we were talking again. And we didn't even end up actually meeting in person until March. So it was kind of like a slow beginning, which was nice, just getting to know each other, but it was weird because we had never even met in person. Um, so that was interesting, like FaceTime and everything before we even 
knew e who each other really were. And then we found each other on social media. And yeah, I didn't really share him on social media for a while. Just because I wanted to, you know, take it slow and not put any pressure on anything. But it ended up working out in the end. So here we are. So it's not really, it's a little newer to social media, but not to us. You just gotta not look so hard. I think that that's the one thing I realize is good things in life come when you're least expecting it. So stop searching and just live your life, do your thing, and your person will come along. We are planning to move in together, as scary as that is. Yeah. Um, there are some bumps in the road, for sure. I have not lived with a partner before, so it'll be very interesting. Um, but the plan is for her to move to Saratoga after she graduates. So it'd be all new to her, so I'm sure it'd be very stressful. But I've basically grown up there my whole life, except for the few years that I lived in Buffalo. So we are hoping to find a house within the next year or two, but I might have to sell for an apartment for now, but we do plan to move in together soon. Mm -hmm. So I'm very changing and all the things that will probably get shifted around and who knows what's going to happen everything's going to work out in our favor but we're going to try to make it work as closely to our plans as possible and we'll see how it goes i finish up school next december and then yeah that's the plan move in together and it's going to be a little crazy it's going five hours away and I mean, obviously we go back and forth, so I know the area, but still I'm not knowing where's the grocery store, you know, where's Target, where's all the places, and not knowing anything after have living here for my whole life. It's going to be kind of crazy, so we'll see. I don't know. We like to do a lot of adventuring and, like, exploring new places. We're both homebodies, which I think is good. We definitely bond a lot with that because we like to just stay home and chill and eat and watch a movie or watch football, watch whatever sports. So it's nice we just kind of hanging out. But fav favorite, number one favorite thing? I don't know. I think exploring new things, new places. I would say that. And a close number two would be going to Barbell together <laughs> and just losing ourselves in Cajun honey butter barbecue attendees and Waffle fries and yep. all the good things they got there. Sometimes yes. a pizza lager too. Favorite, uh, that's his favorite restaurant here in Buffalo and he doesn't have it at home. So every time he comes here, we have to go there and I'll say it's the best. If you've never been and you're in Buffalo, definitely go to Barbell. Go Bills. Go Bills. Uh, oh, yeah, so here's my new Bills sweatshirt that he got me for Christmas. Super cute. Um, Bills by Association, obviously, you can't live in Buffalo and not be a Bills fan. I'm not really, like, a huge sports person, and I don't know that much about sports, really, but I definitely root for the Bills. I had to watch, <laughs> I had to watch the touchdown. Um, I'm a Packers fan. I am a Bills fan by Association after living here for about 10 years, so I do root for both teams. Um, I watch pretty much every sport there is. I'm a huge Duke basketball fan. Uh, NBA not so much, Yankees fan, we did go to a baseball game in the spring, so that yeah, was fun yeah. to do that together first, for her first, first time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, above everything else, Duke basketball. Really? Over football? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you just said it. We're not going broke, baby. He won his football bet. Well, here he is. Here we are. Cooperating. She fed me cookies. I think that he was a little nervous at first. I get it. It's a little scary, like, going on camera and being like, okay, I'm going to be shown to the world. But we've done some vlogs now, and it's, you're okay with it. Yeah, we're getting there. I like to be on the other side of the camera because I don't know where to put my hands. That's true. Except for on this little, little Joni right here while she takes my hand. But it's okay. Sometimes you got to show your face to the world. Do the cats like him? No. Nope. Well, you can see one, two, and three. They adore him more than anything in the whole entire world, especially a little peanut. <gasps> yes. That's his baby. And Junie. She's yeah. really... She's got the personality of her own, but she's 
She's warming up to me. She's yeah. been on all lap all day. Yeah, she's come around. She loves him. Pina sleeps with us. And Bo Boy, he just kind of hanging out all the time, doing his own thing. I would say hot in the morning, especially in the winter, unless it's during the day, maybe like running to work or just around the house, I would do iced coffee. Yeah, I am not a coffee drinker, although I work at Deathwish Coffee, so I highly recommend that you drink that regardless of how you drink it so that I can get my bonus. <laughs> it is very good if you've never had Deathwish, they have. All kinds of flavors, Best. all kinds of regular roasts, um, limited edition handcrafted mugs, all kinds of merch, so a little bit of everything. <laughs> good sales. <laughs> good pitch. My first impression, I think, was... It's hard to say because we had talked for so long before we actually met in person, but I think I would say, like, he was really sweet when we first met in person. <laughs> Not when we first started talking. When we first started talking, I was like, well, we'll, we'll tell that story later, but, um, I would say, yeah, I think that just... He was really sweet and like gentle and kind and he's cute. Cute. He's cute. I thought she was very, very pretty, obviously at first glance. Um, but I did expect her to be a lot more like high energy and outgoing and I'm very introverted, so I thought that might be a little much, but she can be around her friends. Um, but when we're at home and just kinda like hanging out, we're basically the same person, so it works out. Mm -hmm. She has one sister and she's very, very sweet older sister. My favorite tip is just the car rides home. Obviously, since they have different schedules, it kind of worked out, but it's a quick, easy way for us to talk to each other. That's super, super, like, low, kind of, like, low energy. Um, it doesn't require a lot. It's just I'm driving home, and we have a quick conversation about how my day went, how she's getting ready for her day, or how her day is going if she's not working that night. Um, it's just super easy, and helps the drive home go faster. When you have someone that's like your best friend, you don't have to really be like thinking about when you're going to make time for them. You're just always, I'm always like, okay, well if I'm not doing anything, like I'll call him or we're texting or hey, what's going on? Or how was your day? And we're always kind of just like talking and asking how each other's day was unless we're, we're together, obviously then we're together all the time. We just don't want to be away from each other, but I would say that I like that tip, but honestly, like when you're with, with your person, you don't have to really even think about when you're going to make time for them because you just subconsciously automatically do that. I have met his family. His I've met some extended family, but I will say like his parents are angels. They're so sweet. They're amazing. And it's been kind of hard. This year is the first year that I am without my parents. They moved to Florida, so they moved last February, and this was like the first Christmas that I didn't have them, and so it was pretty hard. So it was very, very nice. His family kind of took me right in and treated me like one of their own, so I can't say enough good things about them. We got pretty lucky because she is a Cupid, but I would say stop looking if you're really trying to find your person like just do your own thing they'll come along when the time is right you don't have to search so the first time that we met was in March it was actually it all comes full circle it was Victoria's birthday and we were going out so we were kind of planning to meet that night, hang out, and then if all went well, we would hang out the next day because he was coming in town for the weekend. So we just went out for a girl's night. It was me, Victoria, and a couple of her friends, and we went to the bar, and we were, like, drinking, whatever, and we were waiting for him, and then he got there. I was literally hyperventilating so bad. I was so nervous, dying. Although we had been talking for like a month, it was just so different when I was like, oh my god, we're going to meet in person after like so long. And so that was really nerving. Nerving. <laughs> She's still nervous. Yeah, still nervous. Um, 
then, I don't know, he like, it was super snowy that day or something, the roads were really bad, so he was like, he finally parked, he had to walk down the street, and then I was going to go outside, and then I got too nervous, and I was like, no, I'm just going to let him come in here and find me instead of meeting him, and then he walked in, and we made eye contact, and then he came over, and we hugged. And then we kind of just talked all night and hung out and drank and it was nice because Victoria was there who was like our mediator because he knew her and I knew her obviously so. And then we just went our separate ways at the end of the night and then the next day we ended up hanging out and we went on a first date. And the best part is the first meeting is all on video. Yep, we have a video of it. I can insert it here. Our first hug. And it was pretty, uh, I don't, I kind of remember it, but I feel like I blacked out for a lot of that time. I, I literally have videos of me hyper, hyperventilating. This kind of goes hand in hand with the other question, but I think my favorite thing about him is how gentle and sweet he is. Like, I never had someone that was so, just so nice. All, he's so nice to everyone around him. Always makes everybody laugh. And he's just so sweet. Just so sweet. So sweet. I would say that she is very maternal. Um, when I want something, I have a mama's boy. So anytime I come out here and visit for the weekend, she always makes sure I'm taken care of and have all my favorite foods and snacks and drinks. And she's always waiting on me and telling me to not get off the couch and clean up and help her with certain things. So she makes sure that I feel right at home every single time. Mm -hmm. Does he like the cats? Yes, oh. he loves them. Hate them. That's baby. why I got one right on my lap all the time. And I always want them to snuggle, even mm -hmm. when they don't want to. Yep, they're his babies. I got him some toys for Christmas, and I love them. So, I think we're on the same page. Yeah. Definitely the best daddy. It's a tough one. I feel like there's so many good memories, and we have so many firsts that have happened this year. But best memory. I think honestly like our first weekend together that we spent so after that first day that we had met the second day he came over and he ended up staying here for the weekend and we just hung out and it was so surreal finally being with each other after talking like oh my god I'm so excited to meet you and whatever and it was just even better than we had been talking about and I think it was just really like wow this person's like really real and it was yeah. it was just perfect our first weekend together i like how it's our weekend in the catskills um because it was our first trip together so obviously when she comes to visit me i still live at home so we don't really have any true alone time so it was nice to get away and kind of disconnect from the world and not be on our phones all the time we had this nice cabin we stayed in um, went on a few different little dates and went to our first, was it our first concert together or second or third? Too many concerts at this point. Um, but went into a few different little towns, we went to a concert together. Uh, we stayed in that little tiny cabin all weekend, it was her birthday, so we got to celebrate kind of both of our birthdays together since they're so close together. Oh yeah, our birthdays are only five, seven days apart. Five yeah. days? Five days. Seven days. Seven days. And it was just a cute little trip to kind of celebrate one another in our first little mini vacation. Yeah, it was pretty cute. It was also another one I really loved was we just went to Florida and that was really special because not only did he meet my dad for the first time but it was his first time flying since he was like a little kid and it was like so cute seeing the look on his face and we were like taking off and it was just so fun. Just the start of our our adventure. So many to come. Yes. This year. No secrets though. <laughs> Favorite food. You can go. <laughs> Five man bar bill, 24 7. Cajun honey butter barbecue. Is that no, your, nothing else. Is that your favorite food? Favorite though? food. I would die for that food. Yeah? Yeah. For a bar bill. Mm -hmm. Favorite food group chicken tenders. Chicken tendies. My favorite food, I don't know, I have a lot. I love sushi, I love Mexican, I love pizza, I really love french fries, like guilty pleasure french fries. But I have a lot of faves, I'll literally eat anything. Not picky at all. This one on the other hand, he's like five year old. Okay. 
We're making progress. <laughs> like me growing up here in this big city and you having a small town. I mean, you expect everything to be five minutes away and it's not. Because that's not how life works. Yeah, I think that I definitely got spoiled being here, which I'm not in the city. I didn't grow up in the city, but I think when people think about Buffalo, they're like, oh, wow, that's a city, which it is, but there's downtown, which to me, living here, downtown is the city, like not the suburbs and stuff. So yeah, I think that's the biggest difference is the drive to everything because I can get to the grocery store, I can get to work in 15 minutes, school in 20 minutes, like everything, and that's like far, 20 minutes is like max distance that I really have to go for anything. And for him, it's kind of more, what's the word, rural? rural. Mm -hmm. So everything's pretty spread out and it's quite, quite a drive. Yeah, it's usually about half an hour if I wanna go hang out with my friends or 20 minutes to the grocery store. Um, really to get to a big city for me would be Albany, although it's not that big and that's about 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah, so I'm not used to that really. But we have lots of cows and lots of ice cream. <laughs> they do have lots of ice cream. Oh, she's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we feed our kids, I promise. Yes. Yeah. Now she's yelling. Is he the one? Yes, he's the one, no doubt, in my mind. Forever and ever. Who said I love you first and how and when? I don't know. That's you. You think so? Yeah. You said it. Yeah. You don't remember? I don't know. How do you not remember? I don't know. It's all a blur. Yeah, he said we were here. It was pretty casual. I don't think anything was. It's dinner time. How did she know? She knows. <laughs> yeah, we were here pretty. Casual. I don't know really what we were doing, and we were just hanging out. And then he said, "I love you," and I said it back. And here we are. Here we are. I feel like it's a good vibe. Like when you know that you just vibe with someone. Like we just vibe so well. We're like the same person, but also different. And I'm a Leo, so I'm very like outgoing and like can be crazy and loud and energetic and whatnot but I can also be I grew up an only child I have three step siblings but I was very used to being on my own and entertaining myself and being quiet and not having like a lot going on so I think that helps with my energy levels like coming down a little bit because he's more introverted and I feel like being more quiet and then we're just kind of chilling. Just a good vibe. Yeah. Around. We balance each other out. She gets stressed out, I help her calm down. Mm -hmm. I get stressed out, she tells me to calm down. Yeah, we're pretty, pretty much the same person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all we got. Is there anything else you can think of to say or tell or anything? I got nothing but gold bills! <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to like comment and subscribe yes and i will see you guys in the next one peace bye